What's up, everybody? I'm Rich Wilson, founder and film director at Vibe Media, where we help your brand build to an influencer level online presence using filmmaking tools and tips to tell your story. And Merry Christmas! Well, in today's episode of the Vibe Check podcast, we go head to head, battle it out, die hard. Christmas movie or no? So we've got a lot to talk about. I'm not going to say anything else. So on with the episode! Hey everybody, welcome to Vibe Check, the podcast for aspiring filmmakers and film enthusiasts. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. It is Christmas Day. I can't believe we're doing this on Christmas Day. Well, you know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're cheating the system a little bit yes. this day, but uh, we're releasing this on Christmas yes, Day. Yes, absolutely. So. so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We're filming this Christmas Eve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's what we're doing. <laughs> And we are going to talk briefly about Christmas movies. Whoa. But the Christmas movie, is it or isn't it? That's what we're going to get into. Die Hard. Yes, this is going to be the Die Hard episode on Christmas Day. Is it a Christmas um, movie? Is it not? Let's let's do a preliminary poll. Forest. So I think before we start on this, I, I do have to throw out a couple things. So Dana, I know we talked about she had never seen Die Hard before this. True. So I think she's going to play more of the referee role in this instance. I'm very neutral on this. Okay. I have my opinions, but they're neutral. Okay. So. Okay. And I know this is going to kind of harken back and sound like the same thing we just talked about with cult classics, but I have a tough time saying that this is 100% a Christmas movie. Mm, okay. Okay. So would that be a yes or a no? I need a yes or a no. Do I you say lean yes. more yes? Do you lean I more no? I can't say. I, I can't I will say. I will say yes. I, I when, your family, I'm, I'm yes. when your family sits down to watch a Christmas movie, do you, does the first thing that come to mind, is that Die Hard? No. Or is it something else? No. Okay, so then no. But do we watch But die he hard? said no too. <laughs> yes. Okay, but, but he's, he's going to make his wife watch Die Hard? <laughs> Well, you know, no, she won't watch that. Exactly. Hard but we do watch it in Christmas time. So, you know. It's a seasonal movie. Okay, so well let's let's define what a Christmas movie is. I don't know who wants to define it first. How how are you defining it, Rich? Let's let's go with you yeah. defining this. Since okay. you're yes. Okay, so since I'm yes, so Die Hard is is like the movie that, you know, John McClane goes visit his wife from new york she's in los angeles he goes to visit her um uh at at um the uh tower that she works at Mm -hmm. something happens Mm -hmm. some crooks uh overtake it he's a terrorist he's so far let me let me pause real quick hold on let me pause real quick he's a police let me pause real quick so far this synopsis Not a single mention of the word Christmas. Hold but up. Go on. Hold up. He went there for his wife's Christmas party. Yes. There. He went there because she's there at the Christmas party. Terrorists overtake it. He's a former cop. And then he, he you know, brings in hell for him. yippee ki yep. I'm not going to finish there you it. Go. There you go. Okay. And, and it happens Christmas. There are Christmas decorations and they do make Christmas puns. Yes. Because it's Christmas. But it's Christmas. But it is more of a redemption story than a Christmas story. Redemption. But heist, it happens that's... around Christmas time. I understand. And it, it so I would consider it uh, a Yeah, hey, I'm neutral and, on this. I'm neutral okay, on this. So, okay, it's a redemption story. Okay. Around Christmas. Around Christmas. But what is, is he it is it Christmas and the holiday season all about re, re, um, redemption anyway? I knew you were going to say this, and that's why I'm agreeing with you because okay. what is he trying to redeem, or who is he trying to redeem himself to? His family, yes. and what's more Christmassy than family? I think isn't it about time? it's tough for me because I understand how people see it as a Christmas movie okay. because it takes place during Christmas time, and there's decorations and puns and things of that nature. However. The focus of this movie is not Christmas or the Christmas spirit. The focus of this movie is about a heist and about terrorists taking over this building and him trying to save his wife. Yes. When I think Christmas sure. movie, I think all those classics, okay. Santa Claus. The focus is trying to bring back the Christmas spirit because people lost their belief in Santa Claus. Well, or maybe the hostages lost their belief 
during all of this. <laughs> <laughs> but before this whole thing, again, it goes it, like, yes, it takes place during Christmas. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. because it doesn't have the themes of what Christmas movies typically have of, again, bringing back the Christmas spirit because people are bah humbug about the holidays. It's not even that. It's like there's an outside force that comes in and it's about saving people from that outside force. Okay. During the holiday season. So what would you define as a Christmas movie? So uh, you think of Elf as a Christmas movie. You think of uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed, all the claymation, like old school, Frosty the Snowman. Those are Christmas stories that are made into movies. What makes a Christmas movie? When it has to do with the themes of Christmas, bringing back the joy of the Christmas time, of being around family for that uh, for that holiday specifically, opening gifts with kids... Which they did the next day, which you didn't see in the movie, because he saved his his wife and his family. I get that it happens during that. I just don't (laughs) think that's the focus. I think if you took the Christmas part out of the movie, you would still have Die Hard as a movie. Sure. Absolutely. So I think that would define right there that it's not a Christmas movie. Because if you take Christmas out of Elf, it's not... A Chris, like sure. it doesn't okay. make sense. So sure, I, but it's still a movie about um, some guy who got you know raised by you know elves and and found found his real family in a very comedic way. But it's not. It, ha- <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I'm it reaching. doesn't make yeah, sense so if it doesn't have Christmas part of well, it. Well, by by using that, then you you should you actually struck down pretty much seventy five percent of the uh, Hallmark movies. Uh, we'll agree. Most and the of the Hallmarks are not. Franchise. And Home Alone. I was just going to say that I. Truly Home don't Alone. consider Home Alone a Christmas oh, movie. Really? Better. Really? Be it's a heist movie. That's what it is. It takes place during, it's, during it's Christmas. It's because the situation It's a Christmas classic. The situations happen to him because his family is leaving for a vacation during Christmas time and they sure. forget him. Uh-huh. You take the story of Home Alone and you replace Christmas with Thanksgiving or Halloween or any other holiday that they were traveling and then have the same situation happen though where he's home alone. Because that's what the movie is truly about, is him sure. being home alone. Okay. It would be the same story. Yeah. You're not changing the story. The only thing that gives it that Christmas vibe is at the end where he's, you know, giving him the benefit of the doubt, releasing him Christmas spirit, so on and so forth. So there's a small portion that has the Christmas spirit theme mm-hmm. at the end. Mm-hmm. But the large majority of that movie is not reliant on the fact that it's Christmas. Again, I say again, you would have to get rid of half of or 75% of the Hallmark movies because well, I don't care you literally take Christmas movie. out of it and it's just a regular love story. Yeah. Well, I feel like that can be the majority of any movie. You look at like It's a Wonderful Life, classic Christmas movie. But same thing, you take mm-hmm. out Christmas, Christmas, it's just a man down on his luck and contemplating whether his life, life is worth it or not, you know? Like, it, I feel like... Could be Easter. I feel like... It, once, once again, with cult classics, it is very opinionated. And for me personally, I don't like the generic Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. I don't like the happy, feel-good, Christmas is the resolution to everything and the spirit's going to save everyone and make everyone happy. I like stuff like, you know, Die Hard, where it's mm-hmm. like Christmas is an aspect of it, but there's more to it than just Christmas, yeah. you know? And here's another thing. I actually saw it on Christmas like two years ago. Like they actually re-released it in theaters get, all across because I get the culture. Cult- culturally, it's been accepted as a Christmas movie. Yes. I get it. My argument is I get like It's a Wonderful Life. That example is a good example. I think that whole movie was designed around Christmas being the, the theme of it mm-hmm. though. Whereas Die Hard, I don't think the idea was for it to be a Christmas movie. The, the I think thing, it just got accepted as a Christmas movie. I guess, but... Once again, based on your argument, if you take Christmas out of It's a Wonderful Life, mm-hmm. they liter- it, it's only Christmas when he is about to jump off the bridge, and then mm-hmm. any other time they jump back to every other point in his life. It's I not it. just around Christmas. And it's a guardian angel. It's mm-hmm. not even like a Christmas angel, you know? Yeah. Right. So you could, you yeah, based off absolutely. of your argument, absolutely. using your own words... You, if you take Christmas out of it, it's just, once again, a movie about a man it's contemplating more the intent his life. Too, mm-hmm. though. I, I would say that Die Hard, I don't think the intent, I'd have to, I mean, we'd have to ask the directors, I guess, <laughs> what their intent was. Was their intent to make it a Christmas classic yeah. movie? Or uh-huh. was it to be a movie with Bruce Willis that just, and it just well, happened, to be, on, well, happened actually, to be around Christmas? Because Bruce that's a Willis wasn't plotline. even a big actor then. So this movie was already written out, well, ready to go. This was definitely go. a big, big this was breakthrough his, role. This was his breakthrough role. Yeah. From what I've, I watched some videos just to kind of get other opinions Uh on what it is. And it's like, 
every the director even said himself everything that he does in that movie is intentional so the mm-hmm. fact that it's around christmas time is intentional but that it's could not be intentional just... to drive the plot line again exactly he wouldn't be traveling he to, be to his, his wife family he wants to be there with them for christmas exactly right. however again you could replace I, I don't think i think they just chose christmas because it's more widely accepted that you travel for christmas for the holidays well, no, his Versus, family was already there. He went to go see his family to try and rekindle his relationship yeah, with his wife. Right. But it's uh, it's different than like, you know, Halloween. You don't typically travel across the country to celebrate Halloween with people. Like there's has to be a reason behind why you would travel to go see your unless family. Unless it's a really good like, Halloween. Yeah, unless True. it's really good. Yeah. But I, I think that's, I guess, where my struggle comes from is okay. because it's, it's really – Christmas is not the actual – tool Focus. for it it's it's a tool to progress the story I, yeah i totally get where you're coming from i'm gonna kind of reach here for a second the story of it's a wonderful life and die hard are they not kind of the same because it's both about a man trying to redeem himself and at the end he becomes better for it i'm just saying because you're we're talking about two christmas movies here that are kind of classic I can see like it's where very you're different saying, yeah. it's like obviously one's an action film and one's like a drama piece <laughs> right. but i'm just well, talking about like the actual it, like you take away all of it, you focus on narrowing it down you're to taking, two sentences. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm saying you're, you're, you're taking a lot of because, them away because it's like a femur bone like, or like pinky yes, toe or something like that. Then yes, yes, Die Hard is an action film, but it's an action film solely focused around him redeeming himself. He's yes. trying to and be a better person better and become way to a better redeem man yourself during Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that is where I was I'm going with saying, that. I said, I said, and you, go, you know what, guys? I'm not 100 percent saying no, and I get that it's at this I, point culturally. It's just, it's it's not, a stretch. Yeah. This is a it's yeah. a stretch to call it a Christmas movie. Does it's it make like, sense to do it? Yes, sure. it can fit into mm-hmm. it, but I don't think that it's designed that it was designed to be a Christmas movie. I think people have turned it into a Christmas movie. Well, oh, I, I don't I, know I about that, that. Yeah, I think that there might be an argument with that. But, you know, well, only time would tell, I guess, you know. <laughs> time has told. It's been a very long time <laughs> since this movie came out. <laughs> and I know my dad's yelling at me because there's, like, Christmas music that plays during a specific part of the movie and all this. Like, I get it. I get that there's Christmas things in it. Uh, yeah. It's just. I had the same argument with my boyfriend yeah. about Gremlins. He's like, that's a Christmas movie. And I was like, yeah, but you could it's like the same situation with die hard like it's not really about christmas it's not it's, it's just, about the gremlins like, yes like, <laughs> yeah, like yes gizmo is like a christmas gift yeah, yeah, and yeah, like the purpose yeah, of his yeah. dad getting him was as like a christmas <laughs> right. present but once again it just it could have been it could have been on a birthday that he got it, yeah, the it could have been on a birthday the, 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 could have been freaking yeah. flag day exactly, you know yeah. <laughs> that's where i think i that weird part for me comes into place because again take actual christmas out of it and replace it with something else is that holiday just a tool to drive the story or does it is it integral into the story mm. like if it, if it wasn't christmas yeah, would die hard point. still make sense interesting point if it was a halloween party at the office hey, that he was going to uh, regardless visit, like, he was going there to fix his family exactly. it doesn't matter what holiday exactly. it would have been he would have been there regardless whether mm. it was halloween mm-hmm. whether it was valentine's day valentine's day probably would have been better <laughs> but <laughs> yeah but why do a heist on valentine's day um I don't know because everyone's going to be sad. Terrorists don't have reasons. <laughs> Terrorists don't have reasons. You think Alan heist? Rickman has a reason? Why would he do it on Christmas? <laughs> Why would he do it on Christmas? <laughs> Rich, know. answer me that. <laughs> because because he wanted the gift of of his own joy. That is true, actually. Yes. Yeah, he just wanted to be on a beach. <laughs> he did. He wanted to give himself a awesome present for himself. For Christmas, and that's why he did that. Once again, you're circling it back around to that this is a Christmas movie. (laughs) Hello, it's gifts. He's giving himself a gift. But you notice, you notice how hard you have to fight for this to be a Christmas movie versus movies. I don't feel like he's fighting that hard though. Well, but no, but you keep having to cycle it back to it being a Christmas movie. Like Christmas movies, you don't have to mention that they're Christmas movies. You just know. How would you explain Santa Claus, Tim Allen's Santa Claus, to someone without mentioning Christmas? But that that is just you know that that movie is a Christmas movie without saying that it's a Christmas movie because it has Santa Claus. It literally, by definition, is about Christmas character okay. Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Die Hard, is, the plot of it, besides the besides the one part that says during a Christmas party, everything else <laughs> about the plot line has nothing to do with Christmas. 
There's Christmas decorations. We already they laid it out. I know. We talked about the redemption. We talked about the <laughs> gift giving. Has, we it, talked about the movie family. Is about a an attack on the building, and he's trying to save his wife. Well, what's more American? Than <laughs> this isn't about America, Rich. <laughs> what's more American about Christmas and Die Hard and driving the 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 terrorists out and family. I'm not going to take away people's joy if they want to consider it a Christmas movie. They can. I, I just. I think yeah, we just I, have to. It's pin. a tougher argument. I go back to the head. fact that not everyone likes generic Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. They like things like Home Alone, like Gremlins. Some, something different. Of you course. Know? Something that's a little different. And I'm right there. I enjoy the movies. Around Christmas I, I time. love Die Hard. I, I love yes. it. I'm not taking course, anything yeah. away from it. It's a great movie. You're, except for the Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm maybe taking that away. to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, let us know what you <laughs> what you definitely think. We definitely took a poll, which we will share the results at after, um, you know, when I get back, you know, in front of you at the end of the video. Um, but it's uh, definitely, I think we may have to put a pin on this. I think we're still undecided <laughs> one way or the other. You let us know. So... <laughs> Um, but all the usuals follow us like subscribe and here we are at the end of the year um we're really excited to see what what we can create next year so um until then merry christmas happy holidays we'll see you in the new year keep vibing bye guys be safe out there ho, 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 holy moly that was a interesting episode quite uh, the debate now, if you want to see the results of the poll, you could go to our Instagram page and follow us at Vibe Media US, and also like, subscribe, and do everything that you need to do to be able to find out what uh, new content is coming your way. January 2021 is just right around the corner, and we've got some great things in store for you, so you don't want to miss that. Like, subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. And now with that, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. We'll see you in 2021. And with that, keep creating, build your brand, and go out there and tell your story.